Hi, uh, I'm Edmond Derisha, an assistant professor of economics here at Montclair State University. And my research interest includes income and wealth inequality in the US. And particularly, I'm interested to understand how various macroeconomic variables in the US have been driven income and wealth inequality. Over the last century, US economy has experienced two major economic crises. Great Depression, which started in 1929, and Great Recession, which began in 2007. Interestingly, both events were preceded with large increases in income and wealth inequality. Because of this, now researchers since the end of the Great Recession have been trying to understand how income and wealth is dis distributed in the US across various parts of the income distribution. For example, now we know for 2014, the pre-tax total national income shares for the bottom 50% have been roughly 12%, whereas the pre-tax uh, total national income shares for the top 1% have been uh, 20%. So you can see the difference in there. Even more interestingly, since 2008, the net personal wealth shares for the bottom 50% have been negative, which means the dollar value for their debt has been greater than the dollar value of their assets. This is for the bottom 50%, whereas for the top 1%, uh, their net personal wealth has been positive and from 2008 until 2014 has been increasing from 34% to 37%. So what I do in my research now is I try to understand how various macroeconomic variables such as interest rate, household debt, stock market have driven income and wealth inequality in, in, in the US. And based on my findings, my recommendation to you would be try to pay off your debt as soon as you can and try to accumulate as much capital as you can to improve your income and wealth mobility over your lifetime. If you want to know more about my research and my findings based on the papers I've been working on, I would recommend to go to the link that is posted here and you can see my papers. Thank you so much.